live back. So the canvas, the second canvas that I'm printing is uh, for the stretcher bars. It's currently coming out of the printer right now. If you can see that. I can't hold it very steady. Anyways, so that's the second print that's coming out. And that print is going to get stretched around this stretcher bar right here that I put together already. You can see here it's going to get stretched around that, around the edges, and wrapped just like this guy over here. And once that's done, I need to put it in a frame. And uh, you can see this right here. See how the stretcher bar, wait a minute, like that. That's, that's a canvas. There's a corner. Here's a picture. And here's the other canvas that's going in those frames that we were making earlier today. All right, that's Burlingame up in San Francisco. So let's show you. Got this all kind of rigged. We're gonna see if this works. I'm going to put this this way, try and get it out of the way. There we go. And now we're going to finish the floater frames. So, there we are. So, here's what we painted earlier. The actual base of the floater frames. That away. There's the base of the floater frames. And where is the uh, top of it? I'll show you right here. We cut it, but I didn't join it because I figured it would be kind of boring to watch all that. So here is the top of the floater frame that frames the outside of the frame. I gotta put it in here with like the littlest amount of space in there. Just enough for it to sit on top. Look how the corners match up. Probably gonna have to touch up some paint there because it's still a little wet, but I just wanted to make one of these and get this shown for you. So you can see how the finished frame looks now. And I just simply, because it's gray, and I'm not too worried about the aesthetic, it kind of helps it bring it up is uh, this, this silver from the they even see them, you know, because the silver and gray match so much. The head of the nail is what I'm speaking to. Yeah, so really, really tight. And look at that. Here we go. So there's the floater frame, and uh, I'm going to show you the stretched canvas inside of it. You know what you th Here's the stretched canvas, it fits perfectly inside it with half inch border all the way around. Look at that guys, look at that, isn't that a thing of beauty? My stretched canvas inside of my floater frame. That's the Burlingame train station. I got Burlingame Avenue coming out for a collector up in Burlingame. How cool is that, guys? Huh? I'm trying to be motivated about something that can be really boring to a lot of people. But I'm really proud of these frames that I've done myself. I got a paint right here, as well as my photographic artwork. It's pretty special. I don't think you need to see me stretch. Uh, canvas over stretcher bars. I think stretching canvas is a pretty easy. Um, anybody can figure that out. Uh, maybe in a new video I'll do that. But I just wanted to finish 
showing you uh, how the frames came out and they concluded because uh, I had to turn it off because I wanted the paint to dry and I had to get the prints running. But anyways, uh, I really appreciate you guys looking. I hope everything's well. I sure hope uh, you have a good weekend. And uh, thanks for watching. Beautiful. Be well.